All right. So, caring or the lack thereof. Nobody cares if you can see. They're still gonna yell at you. Man, watch where you're going. Did you see what you just did? Hey, man, you can't go there. Did you read the sign? They don't care if you got good vision or not. They're not gonna ask. They don't care. They just don't. No one does. That includes you. You don't care. You don't care about nobody but yourself. That's even if you care about yourself. Don't look at this in a pessimistic view. Because I'm not saying this in a negative way. If anything, I'm saying this in the most positive way. Just people hear things. They see other people react, overreact, exaggerate, and they go, hey, that's a bad thing. I used to think two people yelling at each other was the worst thing in the world until I realized like somebody's trying to get their point across because they really, really care about that point. Not that they don't care. So I'd say, hey, no one cares about you. They don't. Nobody. Not one person cares about you. You're like, well, my mom cares about me. My wife cares about you. Yes, in the most positive sense. <laughs> Not in the negative connotation of the word, don't care. When I say people don't care about you, I don't mean that in for your well-being. Unless you're one of the very, very few people or just a, a confirmed psychopath, which you're probably in prison by that point. Um, no. Um, no, 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 nobody cares. Okay, so here's the thing. You don't want people to care about you. Well, yeah, I do. I'm like, no, you don't. You want them to care about your well-being, but not you. For them to know, hey, and everybody's the same way. I hope that you are going with food, going with shelter, and going with happiness. Your well-being... Uh, maybe fringe on the safety part. You know, because if they really cared about your safety, I'm calling you every morning, hey, did you eat? You feeling okay? Don't forget to wear a seatbelt on your way to work. They care for your well-being. Just don't care about you. Every mom will care about, you know, their kid, but... I guess I'm kind of dragging this out. Nobody cares about what you are doing on your day-to-day -day life. And if I have to really bring this into picture for people to understand, well, I mean, hell, that's why I'm here. So, I have an iPhone. Yeah. I got a beat up old Android. Hey man, bro, your phone sucks. Hey, yo, bro. My phone doesn't suck. Your phone sucks. You got an Android. And you've got the very first release of the iPhone. It's just... looks different. Give it five minutes after these people walk away from each other. Heard the dude said with that iPhone. Who? Oh yeah, that guy. Hey bro. Dude with that Android is a loser. Who are you talking about? The guy you were talking to with the Android. Who? 
Oh, yeah, no, I don't care about him. Bingo. They don't care. No one cares what you have. If you were to walk up to me before I even see what's in your hands, I'm not thinking like, oh, this is an Apple guy. Mm, yeah. Don't care about his background, politics, intentions, or even why he's here. Just, he's an Apple guy. I wonder what he drives. No, 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 no. Just wonder if he's an Apple guy. Gotta have an iPhone. Yeah, bro, I got an Android, man. This guy. No, nope. Nobody cares what kind of phone you have. And if an individual says, hey, I do care about what phone people have. Are you like a techno-Nazi? Like, is there like some underground corporation going, we're going to get rid of all of the androids? Nobody cares what phone you have. Well, the only people that say that are the people that don't make a lot of money. Okay. Good point. Good point. Nobody cares how much money you make. No, really. Nobody, unless they are taking the money from you, and I'm not saying benefiting from it. Taking. Not, hey, I'm your mom, I'm your dad, I'm a family relative, I really need help, can you help me out? No, the... Hey, I'm looking for a $2 million man, gold digging, you know, shit. Or the, hey, ma'am, look, you're doing good today. Mind if I clean your pool for 10 grand? I'll give you the discount for 9 grand. I just want your money. They, they just want your money. They don't care about you. I don't care how much you make. They just want your money. Look, honestly, you can make $2 million a year. You can make $20 a year. If someone wants your money, they just want your money. They don't care about you. Well, they care about me because I'm a millionaire. No, they care about your money. Not you. They don't care about you. If you give them the mill and walk away, they don't care. Let's take the mill. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to have these outliers of people going, well, my wife cares about what happens to me, and they care about me. Yes, 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 exactly. They care about your well-being, you being happy. Okay, yeah, I, I get it, but I'm talking about the significant parts of things in life that don't really matter. Like, this, they don't matter. People don't care. You know, maybe this is making sense to some people at this point. On what I'm talking about, since everybody focuses on the nobody cares about me. No, yes, 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 yes. People obviously love you and have you in their family and in their life as friends and whatnot. Yeah, okay, that's that's great. But I guarantee you, Grandma's not like, why the hell are you driving a fucking Honda Civic? Where's your Lambo? Where is the Lambo? What is wrong with you? You are a young man. You should have a Lambo. You lazy piece of. Okay, you see what I mean. Grandma doesn't care what you drive. Grandma just wants to make sure you're okay. That's it. Grandma just wants you to be happy. Grandma cares about your well-being. And if you have a truly loving wife, if you are a man, I cannot speak for women because I'm not a woman, so I can't say a truly loving husband because I don't know what women are into. They might prefer a sock over a man. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a woman. So... From a man's point of view, at least for me, I'm obviously younger. And the things you're going to hear about coming out of people's mouths my age are, everyone wants to know how much money you're making, man, because everybody cares how much you make. It's important. Hey, man, you got to have the nicest ride out there. It's what matters. You gotta have the best thing because everybody looks at that. Hey man, look at what you got on you at all times. From your drip, to your swag, to the girl you got on you. And her bag. N no. 
No, nobody cares about any of that. The only people who care about that are the people who think other people care about that. The thing is, is do you care about somebody else's stuff? Oh yeah, no, no you don't. Shut up. You don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. You're not up there. Hey Jerry, yeah, from the car show. Yeah, you might not remember me from three years ago. I stopped by. I seen, I seen that nice Ferrari you had. Uh, yeah, I saw that like two years ago. Who is this? Yeah, you don't remember me? You had a card. You were there. Your your Ferrari. I want to see how the Ferrari was doing. It's such a nice Ferrari. I care about you and your Ferrari. No. No, here's what happens. Even the most enthusiastic of people will take the most car enthusiastic person. Shows up at a car show. Of any age. Hey man, nice Porsche. Oh, thanks. Great. Cool. What year is it? What color did you get in it? What mod did you do to it? Oh, that's great. So how's life? <laughs> Five minutes later. Hey bro. 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 Check out this Rolls Royce we got back here. Yeah, hey man. Saying nothing like that Porsche. What Porsche? Oh yeah, that Porsche back there. Oh yeah, that thing was actually kind of cool. You already forgot about it. And when you leave the show, if you are the most car enthusiastic person, you might bring it up. Maybe once within the same week. And you might bring it up at a store years down the road. If you remember, but other than that, just you, you don't care. I used to have to tell my friends this, and they just never understood it. And we'd go, we'd, we'd go to like a biker rally or a biker show, and I'd start talking about a bike, like, bro, man, this bike was so cool, you know? And they'd be like, I don't remember that bike. And I'd talk about another bike, and they'd be like, I don't remember that bike either. I'd talk about another bike, and they'd be like, I, yeah, I don't remember that. I'm like, well, what bikes do you remember? I really don't remember any of them. Then why did you go to the show? that's really how it is you just go because you don't care about other people's things but I guarantee you if you had a bike at that show you'd be asking everybody hey did you see that bike hey did you see that bike up there oh that's my bike you want people to care you want them to care and the reason you push that so hard is because in the back of your mind even if you don't know it you know people don't care you want the validation. You you want it so bad. And you'll reach for it. Many people who reach for this validation will reach for it their entire life. Because they want somebody to care. Thing is, is they want them to care about the wrong things because they care about the wrong things. And it's not even that they care. It's that they don't care. They only care about themselves which they should but it's only of the things that pertain to themselves so now understanding that you realize they only care about themselves so you're like yeah and other people do that too it's like yeah meaning they don't care about anybody else or their possessions or belongings or any other thing i mean you could take a guy again cars guys guys we can all have bikes cars maybe a few of them in ice houses and realize this if they got the money and the well-being and they are competitive they will go toe to toe line to line my car's better no check out this new car no check out this new car each seeking validation from each other that mine's is better do you care nobody they don't care about the next guy's car they just care about what you think about their new car they want you to care they want you to care, but they don't. So even though you yourself can acknowledge that nobody cares, you still assume everybody cares. But here's the thing, nobody cares. 
Nobody cares what type of house you live in. Nobody cares what you drive. Nobody cares what you wear. People will comment. And the people that comment, they're saying, oh, because they care about what other people think. No, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit either. They don't care. The people that do comment, like, let's say you're wearing something crappy. And they're like, ew, what are you wearing? Do you not see the luxury attire I have, you know, outfitted myself with? And you're just like, yeah, fuck you, guy. Yeah, you. You. No, the, the person just does it to seek validation within themselves that their clothes are good. Because in reality, you can take something from Alibaba that costs $2, price it at 99 and just be like, yeah, $10 cheaper from legit. And you're like, yeah, I got the $100 one, man. I don't want 120 The fake ones are 50 But I got this one from Alibaba for 110 So it's still good. It's like, no, it's not. Fact of the matter is, just slapping prices on shit don't mean nothing. I always tell people this. At least with goods, in this case. I'll probably bring this up in my money video. Price does not always indicate quality. You could slap a price on anything. That's that. Period. But quality is generally a good indicator of what the price will be. Things of terrible quality generally have a terrible price. At least for the seller, it's low. Things of great quality generally have a high price. Makes sense. But not everything that has a high price is of good quality. And everything of a low price is not always of poor quality. You'll find nice things for a low price. You'll find some very, very terrible things at a high price. But generally, more often than not, if it's of great quality, it'll have, generally have a higher price for something of low quality. So, many people will seek validation when they see something of low quality in somebody else's possession. And they know and they are aware of something of high quality in their own possession. They will try to compare it and seek validation from the other. So that they know that other people care about their heavy financial investment. So that they don't feel guilty about making it or feel as though it was a mistake because they think people care about their mistakes. No one cares about your mistakes. Buy what you want. Buy what suits your needs and means of living. This is what I tell everybody. This is how you save money and you get out of this giant paradox of self-hatred. It's basically what it is. You hate yourself so you drain your wallet because you think other people care. I'm just saying. So... If you go around blowing your money on things that literally are of poor quality just to make a statement because you think people care, they don't. So, like, your nice house, nobody cares about it. Your nice car, Nobody cares. But really, I, I mean this when I say this. Nobody cares about it. Well, hey man, I got a lot of money and people really care about me. They come and talk to me all the time. No, they care about what you can give them. Whether it's money, knowledge, or assets, they want it. Because they want what you have. I don't care about you. They care about what other people will think if they were you. The thing is, is, nobody cares about you, so if they were you, nobody would still care. How many times, if you are somebody who lives in a lower income neighborhood, how many times do you go into the gated communities going, Morning, Mr. Johnson. How's it going today? You are a very fairly wealthy individual, and I just want to make sure you're in good standing. 
Because I care about you. And the well-being of your car and your nice house. Three o'clock news comes in. Mr. Johnson's house is on fire. His car has been molotov and somebody's like, you. And you're like, oh. Someone's house caught on fire. Next channel. You're not like, let me call that local area and see who that guy was so I can make sure he's okay. You don't even care about the stranger's well-being. Technically, but I mean, look, your job, nobody cares. If you were happy with your job, people aren't going around, hey, how much do you make? And when they do, again, it comes down to the same thing. They just want validation for the choices they made in life. Oh, well, I make 200000 a year. Well, that's cool. Yeah, bro, I make 200000 a year. Okay. I have nice cars. Okay. Have you seen my house? I don't care about your house. Have you seen my house? My car? I don't care about your car. You're poor. And if I was rich, would you care about it? If I had 10 times your net worth, 10 times the amount of cars worth 10 times the price, Mr. Rich Guy, would you care? No, not really. I just, I don't care because I don't have it. Exactly. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody. Yeah, everyone's guilty of this one. Everybody. I got three fucking phones. Well, my other one's back there. Every single one gets the same Amber Alert every time. Obviously. When I see people working next to me and the Amber Alert goes off, you know what they do? They don't go. Oh my god. Did you hear about this person getting kidnapped? Yeah, I got the same Amber Alert, man. Keep an eye out. Yeah, we should keep an eye out. We're the citizens. We gotta care for the people around us. No, they go, God, ugh, turn off, turn off. I don't care who's missing. A, a, a six month old child abducted by nine people. I don't care, turn it off. How do I block this, guys? <laughs> they are pursuing to find a way to get rid of the warnings. They want the system gone. They don't care. If you don't care about an abducted child, a baby, they should tell you what other people think about you. They don't care. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying that your life decisions, your choices, what you drive, what you wear, what you eat, the amount of money you have, the, just all of it. People bring it up in a comparison if theirs is better to help negate and block the negative views of their life so that they don't have to think about it and so that they feel that they're on the right path and that people will care about the things they're doing. People just seek validation, that's it. Once you realize you don't need validation from others, you'll be a much happier person realizing that literally nobody cares about you once you realize that nobody cares about you, you'll be happy because you will feel more comfortable in the person you were being. I mean, this channel. I'm just putting this out here because maybe somebody will get something out of it. Do I have any subscribers? No. Do I have people viewing this? Some of it, I, you know, and that's, that's, that's not what this is here for. I'm not going out here, hey, look at me. Look at me. Care about me. No. Generally, genuinely, sorry. I don't care about the next person. You are a person just like me, physically capable, willingly capable, in this crazy maze we have called life. And you can't give me more of a better positioning than what I have, than what you have. So if you're above me, I want what you have. If you're below me, I don't care. That's everybody. There's no body out there going, I'm going to give it all up. Why? Because I want everybody else to have it and I want nothing. Find them. An honest one. They're not there. You, know, you got some people going, Jesus! I'm like, no, even that guy was like, do I really got to do this? Do, do I really got to take it this far? 
But even for me, it's like, you know, you come to a realization of uh, the well-being of society. And, you know, if one voice can make an impact, well, hey, you know, I'm going to try. But I want people to understand that, you know, back up some of that stress on your life and realize people don't care about you. And I mean that in a positive manner. You know, now, don't take this in a way where you can just break the system and go, oh, nobody cares about me, so I can just smell like crap, don't take showers, brush my teeth, my hair, or clip my nails. That's not what that means. It doesn't mean be poorly hygienic and just be a nuisance to society. It means that don't stress about the things that don't really matter because less things matter than what you think. And as we've discussed before, who cares about you? Mom, dad, brother, best friend, sister, wife, family, community, close community, because, you know, communities are pretty big now, so can't say that two million person community, the people across town care about you, they probably don't even know you exist, but your close community, you know, the people you go to church with, your co-workers, your community, you know, people that know you, generally most of them care about your well-being, but trust me, most of them can care less about how much money you're making, what you wear, what house you live in, but what they do care about is your well-being. Most of them. Most of the time. And a lot of them, they do care a little bit about your life. And if you're happy in it, like when it's your birthday, and they go, hey man, happy birthday, like, John? We just work together, it's cool. Nah, man, happy birthday. You, you see my point now. Anybody else who's pointing those things out to say they're your friend, they're not your friend. Those are people coming to drag you down to find self-validation that they can boast to others to see if they care about them. You see John's car out there? Piece of crap, ain't it? My car? It's good, ain't it? They don't care. You know, they're probably gonna be like, yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Get away. They don't, they don't care about your dumb opinion. Politics, opinions, just beliefs, nobody cares. And you can be like, oh, I care, I'm religious, I want everybody to be with the Lord. Which, whoever your Lord is, because at the end of the day, they're not dying with you. And if they are, well, y'all are going down together. Colts, man, colts. But, aside from that, most religions will just be like, hey man, <laughs> Good luck. Hope to make the right choice. I mean, some of them might bicker and argue, but again, they're just arguing over self-validation because they want people to care to make sure that they're in the right path because they really don't know. Because they do realize that the next person, no matter where they are in life, does not have a better standing than what they have than them. And if they do, they want what they have, not them. So they care about what they have, not who they are. So be who you are. I realize nobody cares about what you have. Again, opinions, clothes, house, car, job, nobody cares. The only exceptions that will come to this are a loan broker will care about how much money you make and where you work. Certain jobs will care about how you dress and what you drive. And as far as the government goes, they are of the utmost importance on keeping you healthy and knowing how much money you make because they want to cut and the longer you're alive, the more they can take, but the faster you die, the less they have to pay you. Keep you long enough just to take enough. But other than that, for unique individuals such as yourself, me, and anybody else watching this, we don't care. You don't care, and I don't care. 